Backstage here in Los Angeles, I'm joined by Megan Anderson. Megan, now that this fight with Kat Zingano has ended and, and you got to see how it actually played out, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I'm just trying to do my job. I can't really control what she does. Like, I was aiming for the base of the neck or, like, the base of the face. And, you know, she kind of pulled back at the last minute and, you know, it, I can't really control what she does, so I'm, I'm aiming for a legal blow and, you know, Mark, the ref, was just like, this is a legal blow, like, you can punch somebody in the eye, you can knee somebody in the eye, it's just the fingers, the toes and the knees and all that kind of stuff is, is all not included in that rule, so I was just trying to do my job and finish the fight, so. Yeah, I mean, it had to be a little troubling for you knowing, okay, you know, she had turned her back, and, and I know you as a person would never want to, even though you're a fighter, just hurt somebody who's standing there. Was that at all difficult for you in the moment, or was it like, okay, this is what the referee's saying, like, I gotta just get this over with? Yeah, well, uh, the way she turned, I kind of looked towards Mark and kind of gave her a little bit of space because I didn't know what he was going to do, because the way she turned, she looked like there was some serious kind of damage or, or pain or something like that, and so so as I got closer, he was like, it's still going, like you can't do anything. So I was like, okay, let's just go in. And I started I started to attack the body and, and was about to go up top. And he's like, no, I've seen enough. So there's not much I can do. I'm just trying to do my job and I hope she's okay. Yeah, well, you got back in the win column. I know that you've been working so hard. Um, tell me about the, you know, the things that you felt like you were going to be able to display tonight. I mean, certainly happy with a victory no matter what, but what, yeah. what were you looking forward to showcasing that we didn't get to see? I definitely wanted to showcase my takedown defense. I've, uh, it's been a long 12 week camp of just grinding and wrestling every single day. And that was something I really wanted to work on. And I really wanted to showcase my offensive wrestling as well, because it's something that I feel like is, people know me as a striker, but you know, my team, my team knows uh, how good I am. Uh, if everything else and I really wanted to showcase m my blend of everything and unfortunately we weren't but a win is a win and I'm happy to be here and finally get a win in the UFC it's it's a goal for a lot of fighters and it's a dream yeah and I know you'll be right back in the gym getting better and better every single day yeah. um, I know you've been frustrated with with the situation with some featherweights moving to bantamweight and not having you know a full division what's your message out there because I know you want to be an active fighter yeah, I want to be active and I want to fight everyone and anyone in my division. I want them to start signing people in my division. I really hope that I've shown that that there are marketable stars in this division and that it is worth investing in. You know, it, you have to build it somehow, so let's just get the ball rolling. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you back in that octagon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.